how's it going? See, one of the crap things about diesel is that I just stepped in that and my shoes now stink of diesel. So, yeah. Uh, one of the things that the petrol stations really need to do is make diesel pumps a little bit nicer. If they're hoping to, you know, car manufacturers are hoping to sell more diesels to, to consumers, then yeah, they need to do something about maybe uh, tying in with petrol stations to make their diesels a little bit, diesel pumps a little bit better. Ugh, I got diesel on my shoes. And then, you know, on the pump as well, the diesel smell is always on your hands. So in case you ever noticed what's on the seat over here, yes, I'm driving the new Isuzu D-Max. Push start button, the needles sweep, the mirrors unfold. So, welcome to Malaysia, the smallest diesel engine that you can buy in a lifestyle pickup truck. And thus far, it's been pretty nice. Except for this engine, which is a bit loud. Now, don't forget, it's a 1.9 litre uh, turbocharged diesel engine, putting out 150 PS and uh, 350 newton meters of torque. Now, I'll be honest with you, it doesn't have the kick in the pants kind of uh, urgency in terms of acceleration like the, the new Rangers. Um, it, it takes a while to get where it's going. And I'll let you hear it right now as I accelerate. Can you hear that? So that's the only time it gets a little bit loud when you are accelerating hard, trying to merge into traffic. But after that, once you get to its top gear, which is sixth, you can actually flip it over and you can I can see now that I'm in sixth. And I can actually downshift. Fifth. Fourth. Or just leave it in D. Now, once you get to sixth gear, and it's a good thing it's a six-speed gearbox, unlike a 10-speed gearbox of the new Ford Rangers, I think 10 might be overkill. But um, and if you know, you know, if you want to play with the gears, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, if you want to slow down for a for a for a corner. So it's like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Then you take the corner. So it's it's a lot of gear changes. But this is just a six-speed gearbox, and once you get to cruising range, all you're gonna hear is tire noise, a lot of tire noise because this, this truck is actually using oversized rims. It's the smallest diesel engine pickup truck that you can buy right now in Malaysia. It comes in, in, in various uh, guises. There's, a, like I said, a 4x2. There's also one for commercial use. The 4x2 is actually a high rider. So it looks like a 4x4. Uh, it looks like a 4x4 pickup truck, but it's only 4x2, two-wheel drive. No transfer case for high and low, uh, just for the urban jungle. This unit is for those of you who actually do want to venture off-road occasionally. It does have a 4x4 system which is activated via a uh, dial down here and uh, you can activate it on the fly up to a certain speed. I think it's like 20 or 30 kilometers an hour. But uh, going into 4-wheel low, of course, you have to come to a complete stop. 4-wheel uh, low, if you don't know what 4-wheel low is, it's, it's massive torque from the engine but very low speed. It's for more off-road. I mean, it's only for off-road actually. I shouldn't say more. It's only for off-road in harsh terrain. Uh, Putting it into four-wheel low on the highway, you're gonna blow your gearbox. So don't do that. So again, you can hear the tire noise. NVH is very decent. This is what it's like outside. So what you're hearing now is just tire noise. I can't hear the engine at all. It's only during hard acceleration that I can hear the engine. Uh, you sit very high. This is actually the seat's lowest setting. So you can actually put this seat a lot higher and uh, you'll be, my head would be actually hitting the roof if I did that. So I've got it on the lowest setting right now. So I'm actually sitting pretty high even though it's on its lowest setting. Very nice seats, very comfortable, very positive, very supportive. No, not positive, sorry. Uh, very supportive in terms of comfort, but uh, they're not semi-buckets. So there is, you will still roll around a little bit. There's um, torso support is pretty uh, uh, minimal. But then again, <laughs> this is a truck. Not a GTI class car, what do you expect? Um, apart from that, there's um, there's still a lot of plastic, uh, but they've made it look very decent. The, um, oh, are there icon vents at the back? No, no icon vents at the back. Tell me in the comments which is the only truck in Malaysia that has icon vents at the back. Ha ha, trivia. The uh, climate control is a big knob in the center of the uh, center stack, followed by buttons around it to control the um, blower, to control the rear air recirculation, to control the rear demister. It's all housed in a, a dial-like fashion here. The steering wheel is leather wrapped. 
so it's it's very nice. And a big cargo bed at the back. It actually has a tray that you can pull out for easier loading of stuff, uh, small smaller items. A lot of people fit a tonneau cover or a cargo care, uh, cargo cover. Perfectly fine. Gives you a lot more space. Kind of turns the uh, pickup truck look into an SUV kind of look. But still, bonafide pickup from Isuzu, and you know because it's a D-Max, the engine is going to be really, really long-lasting. I've heard of D-Maxes. Uh, they gave away a prize recently for a D-Max that has hit more than 800,000 kilometers already and still going strong. So, yeah, I think uh, Isuzu prides itself on the longevity and robustness of the uh, D-Max engine and uh, also its frugality. Yeah, so I just bumped in 50 ringgit. It was uh, the, the amber warning light was already on. Uh, yeah, thanks guys for giving me a truck almost on empty. <laughs> Not Isuzu, my team. <laughs> so I pumped in 50 bucks and I've got a range of 370 kilometers on... Uh, 50 bucks went in, the red light was already on. I reckon I still got about 5-7 liters left. So yeah, not bad. Pretty good. Once you get into top gear uh, onto, the, um, onto the highway, the revs dropped. I'm, I'm doing 100 kilometers an hour now. The revs are at 1,500. 1,600 RPM. So the engine, it's a lazy engine. It just saunters along. So I wouldn't be surprised uh, with a full tank primed to the brim, I could probably get 1,000 kilometers on the highway at top at uh, 100 kilometers an hour with the revs at 100 and, uh, 1,005. Yeah, I bet you so. Maybe I'll take this car on a long distance drive someday if Isuzu allows me to drive around Malaysia or maybe even across the border. But uh, well, we'll wait and see for that. In the meantime, not too bad, not too bad at all. If you're looking for a, a lifestyle pickup truck, which you're gonna pay a lot less road tax on because it's just a 1.9, mm. yeah, and uh, yeah, not too bad for a 1.9 liter diesel. That's 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 very decent. The um, pickup, for want of a better expression, <laughs> is is quite decent. Yeah, for a 1.9, I was wondering. I was actually thinking, you know, because I used to have a 2.5 litre diesel uh, truck, but of course it was naturally aspirated, or more like naturally asthmatic, and uh, yeah, it, it couldn't even hit 110 easily, it couldn't even hit 120, maybe downhill. But this one's hitting 140 frightfully easily, and it was still pulling when I, when I backed off. So um, yeah, if any of you are wondering whether a 1.9 could cut it for a truck, Tell you now, yes, it can. So you don't have to. You see, it's a service I provide. Anyway, <laughs> talk to you all in a bit. So, foot off the brake. Sorry, foot on the brake. Hit the hill descent control button. Hill descent control comes up. There you go. Yep. You can actually feel the individual wheels braking and letting go, braking and letting go, controlling the hill descent. Nice. Great. A lot of fun on a beautiful day. So here you go, folks, the D-Max 1.9 diesel, the smallest diesel pickup truck that you can get in Malaysia right now. It's finally here after being launched in Thailand in 2015. Malaysia finally gets it and it's finally here. Let's go have a quick look at this car. Now, it looks exactly like an Isuzu D-Max. Its bigger brother is the 2-liter, of course, but this is the 1.9. So even with company road tax, you are only paying 399 and 20 ringgit and 20 cents. That's not too bad. It looks exactly like a 3-litre. There's also a 4x2 available. This is a 4x4. And uh, just in case people don't know which model it is, it's written very, very nicely on the side here. D-Max 1.9 Blue Power. Let's have a look at the engine. Now, powering this truck, so powering the 1.9-litre D-Max engine, D-Max is this 1.9-litre turbo diesel. You can see the turbo right there. It's a pretty small engine for a pretty big truck, but it works really well. It's a bit noisy at high revs, 
but uh, cruising at 6 gear on the highway, can't hear it. All you hear is tyre noise. So far, one of the main questions that has been coming up is, does this car have enough torque? Well, it's got 350 newton meters of torque, so it, uh, in terms of power, not lacking there. There is a little bit of noise coming from the engine when you, when you accelerate really hard, but once you're in sixth gear, cruising on the highway, all you hear is tyre noise, and that's because it's using 18-inch uh, alloy wheels with big fat tyres, and uh, yeah, so there's a little bit of road noise there. These are all terrain tyres, but they're very knobbly, so I just went off-road a little bit and it was still very good. So this is the kind of car that you can use on a daily basis or you can use off-road. Um, light to medium trail. Let's take a look at the inside. So that's the interior of the uh, 1.9. It looks pretty much exactly like the 3 litre. Very nice stitching on the seats, centre console, and also that uh, characteristic uh, Isuzu dial which controls the climate and the rear demister and the recirculation so it's all there it's got very nice uh, silver silver outlined uh, instrumentation and now one of the biggest questions about pickup trucks what's the back seat like well to be honest it's quite uh, it's quite upright but it's not that uncomfortable you know it's quite it's quite okay the doors open really wide, rear passengers won't have a problem getting in. This was one of the, um, the complaints in terms of trucks because the rear doors didn't open properly or big enough. But hey, it's not too bad. It's quite nice. One of the party tricks of the, the Isuzu, new Isuzu D-Max, check this out. So there's actually a tray that rolls back and forth if I can get it to work. There we go. So what's this for? Basically to load stuff. So you don't have to push it yourself all the way to the back. Just pull this out and then push it back in. That's it. It's a hydraulic tailgate. So everybody's always complaining that, you know, the, the, the hatch at the back is really, really heavy, but it's hydraulic. So you can actually lift it up with, I'll just use two fingers and lift it up. And then when you open it, Sometimes, one of the dangers of, of these, these hatches is because they're so heavy, they just drop. And this, you don't have to worry about because... Hydraulics. All trucks should have this. Easy lift, two fingers, easy open. And strong enough to take my weight. So, anyway, very impressive. 1.9 D-Max, uh, the 4x2 if you're just an urban jungle kind of person that's the one to get because you don't need a, a four-wheel drive transfer case if you're never going to go off-road. So Isuzu has answered the call of many who just use their trucks in town. And uh, there you go. Tonu cover or a canopy cover, get more space covered. Very nice. For 115,000 ringgit and the 4x2 is even cheaper. So go have a look. Yeah, picked up some wildlife. Anyway, in the meantime, you all take care, drive safe, and we'll see you soon. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and um, don't forget to subscribe and like I said, I'll get to all the comments eventually, sometimes it's delayed because you know I'm out driving, I can't reply comments and drive at the same time. So in the meantime, enjoy and I'll be back. Bye.